Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. The thought for the day was Isaiah 52 as I was going through this chapter. Uh, towards the end of the chapter, verse 14 speaks of God's servant, and this servant would suffer mightily, and it's pointing to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as I was going through this passage of Scripture, I wanted to speak today about servanthood or being a servant. As I said, this is pointing to Christ who in Mark chapter 10, verse 45, we are told that Christ came into this world not to be served by others, but to serve others. In John chapter 13, verses 1 to 17, we read of the disciples in the upper room before Christ would be crucified. And they're going to have the Passover meal and the disciples were basically arguing about amongst themselves about who was going to be the greatest in the kingdom of God. And what did Christ do? Got on his hands and knees and washed his disciples' feet. And back in the ancient times, washing feet was something that a slave did. So Christ is setting us the example of what it means to be a servant. And we who follow him should lead by his example as we read in First Timothy chapter, I mean, First Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one, that Christ set an example for us to follow. Coming here to do this devotional video early this morning, out here in this uh, wooded area, not too far from where I live, about a hundred yards from here, there's a route where pe drive people are driving by, and there was something on the road, cars were running over it, so when the light turned red, I basically just went over, picked it up brought it over to a garbage dumpster and threw it away. A lot of times people would see something and just walk and keep going about their business. But we should think of others. Think about the cars that are going to go run over this thing, maybe damage their car. Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 reminds us that to have the mind of Christ is to think of others more than ourselves. In my own personal life, I work as a custodian in a public school. I've been doing it for over 23 years now and being a custodian, um, it's not a job that many people, when they're little, grow up, say they want to be a janitor or a custodian, but it is a job where you're a servant. Carry a walkie-talkie, respond to calls, you got to fix things, you got to clean bathrooms, messes and spills that are not really pleasing to the eye. Uh, sometimes you're abused by those above you, you know, they, they demand a lot from you. And yet, I often remind myself that Whatever we do, Colossians chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 tells us, as slaves of Christ or servants of Christ, we are to do what we do as unto the Lord. Another reason why I go to work every day to motivate me is another scripture verse. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8 tells us that if we don't take care of our loved ones, we're worse than an infidel. Some days my body is aching physically, especially now as I'm getting older. And if I was to just think about myself, be selfish, I could say, well, I'm old enough to retire now, collect my pension, kick back, and just think of myself. But that's not the life that we live as a Christian. As followers of Christ, we lead by example, and the example we follow is Christ himself, as I said before. He lived a life of servanthood. He lived a life, basically, of a slave. Slavery, unfortunately, often has a negative connotation to it. And today in America, everybody wants their freedom and everybody is about themselves and proud of who they are. And, uh, but we're not to be like that. We're not proud people as Christians boasting of ourselves. We are to think of others. Christ told us in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46. Basically, read there about what we do unto the Lord, we do unto others. When I was in a hospital, you came and visited me. When I was sick, you took care of me. When I was in prison, you came to see me. When I was naked, you gave me clothes. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. We ought to live lives of self-sacrifice for others. We ought to be slaves for Christ. We ought to be slaves and servants for others. It's not about us. We need to follow the example of Christ and not the ways of this world. Demas in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 10 we are told he forsook Paul because he loved the world too much our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 17 verse 32 reminds us remember Lot's wife 
Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt because she turned back to look at what was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah when God told Lot and his family to get out of there. Her affections were too much with Sodom and Gomorrah. And how often we too, and I know I'm guilty of this at times, my affections are too much with Sodom and Gomorrah, America, things of this world, the ideology and the philosophies of society. My friends, today we need to be looking unto Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 reminds us, the author and finisher of our faith. I hope today's devotional video will remind us to be careful. Right now where I'm walking, it's a little concrete area, it's a little ice. You might see me walking a little gingerly. It's very slippery over here. And just as we need to be careful when we're walking on ice, we need to be careful as we walk in this world, following not the dictates and the, and the values of this world, but following Christ as our example. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. May we listen to what the word says, the verses said today, and follow you and not this world, being slaves and servants of Christ. In his name we pray. God bless you all, my friends.